Hi everyone, Monique here, Little Gems Creations 1. Today we're going to be making a dice bag. And we're going to start that in just a moment. Hi everyone, Monique here, Little Gems Creations 1. Today we're going to be making a dice bag. So you're going to need a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. You're going to need some yarn. Today we are using Smart Craft Value, which is a medium worsted weight four ply. Um, you're going to need a pair of scissors and a darning needle. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to start by crossing our yarn. Okay, that's always how I make my, I don't do the slip knot, I just cross my yarn. Okay, so we're going to chain. We're going to chain two. Okay, now going into that first chain you made, you're going to wrap your tail around it and we're going to do a single crochet, which is take the yarn, pull through, Yarn over, go through the two loops. That's the single crochet. So we're gonna do it again. In the same stitch, pull through, yarn over, go through two loops. So that's two. We're gonna do six single crochets in this. Three, four, five, and six. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna slip stitch into that first stitch. We're gonna chain up one, okay? Now for our second round, we're gonna put two stitches in each stitch around for a total of 12 stitches. So all single crochet, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, oops, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. We're going to slip stitch into that first stitch chain up one. Now we're going to work in multiples of three. So we're going to do threes. For, so the first stitch, you're always going to have two stitches and then as your increase and then one stitch to get your three. Okay. So all single crochet. Whoops. Come on now. One, two in the first stitch three is on its own. We're going to have 18 stitches to finish off this round. So we've got three, four and five go in the same stitch, four, five in the same stitch, six on its own, seven and eight in the same stitch, nine is on its own. 10, 11 in that stitch, 12 is on its own, 13 and 14 go together, 15 is on its own, 16 and 17 are together, 18 is on its own. Now we're going to slip stitch into that first stitch, chain up one. Okay, so now you see how our center is a little bit open, so you can see the table through it. If you grab that tail, it should cinch right up. If it doesn't, it's okay, don't panic. You can use the, the thread from the center to go round and round and round and close up that hole. Okay, so we just did our round that ended up with 18 stitches. Now we're going to do the next round, which is multiples of four, and we're going to end up with 24 stitches, okay? 
So two in the first stitch, one, two in that first stitch, three goes on its own, and four goes on its own. Five and six go in one stitch, seven is on its own, eight is on its own. Continue this until you get to 24 stitches. Meet me back. I just did my 24th stitch. Now I'm going to slip stitch into that first stitch. We're going to chain up one. Now we're working in multiples of five. So we're going to end up with 30 stitches. So I don't know if you've noticed, but we're increasing by six stitches each round. Okay. So we're going to put two in the first stitch. One two, three goes on its own, four goes on its own, and five goes on its own. Six and seven go into the same stitch. Eight goes on its own, nine goes on its own, 10 goes on its own. So continue this until you have 30 stitches. Meet me back. Okay, so I'm just slip stitching into that first stitch, chain up one, and now we are doing multiples of six. So two in the first stitch, one, two, three is on its own, four is on its own, five is on its own, and six is on its own. So now we're gonna start again, seven, and eight are in the same stitch. Nine is on its own. 10 is on its own. 11 is on its own. And 12 is on its own. Keep doing this until you have 36 stitches. Meet me back. Okay, so I'm gonna slip stitch into that first stitch. Now, we are done this one. So I'm gonna cut my yarn. Leave a bit of a tail, pull that through, pull tight. You're gonna hide your threads and I want you to make another one of these, but I don't want you to cut your yarn at the end, okay? So if you need to go back to the beginning, just do the same thing, but don't cut your yarn at the end, okay? So make another one of these. Okay, so we are here. We're gonna slip stitch into so see, I've got my two done. Now we're gonna chain up two. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach these two together, okay? So here's how we're gonna do it. We're now switching to half double crochet. So yarn over, we're going into the back loop only. So the back loop only of the one, the, the, work, the one that has the working yarn and through the whole stitch of the other one, okay? We're gonna pull through, yarn over, go through all three loops. Okay, so we're gonna do this around and we are not increasing. So you should have 36 stitches, half double crochet, okay? So just a reminder, your yarn over into just the back loop and then the two on the other one. Yarn over, back loop, full stitch on the other one. Back loop, full stitch on the other one. Okay. And I didn't hide my threads on the new one. We're just going to tuck them in. It'll be no big deal. Okay. So we'll do this all the way around and then we're going to start working in a spiral. So do this all the way around. Make sure you count. You have 36 stitches and then meet me back. Okay, so I have 36 stitches. Now you would think I'm gonna slip stitch into the chain two, but I'm not. I'm gonna start my spiral here, okay? So yarn over, go into the first stitch, pull through, yarn over, go through all three loops. And we're just gonna keep going round and round and round. Now we're doing the full stitch. You're not just doing the back stitch. We're doing the full stitch, round and round and round. And it's gonna start to um, to, uh, you know, like form a cylinder. Now, see, we have this ridge here. We did that on purpose. This is so our dice bag will sit nice and flat. OK, 
Okay, so this is going to curl up, but we'll have this ridge here. See? Okay, so round and round and round. We're going to do this for 12 rows. So you're probably wondering, how am I going to know if I have 12 rows? Because you're going in a spiral. Well, here's how you tell. So see here, from the ridge, I've got one, two rows. From the ridge on this side, though, I only have one row. So you wanna make sure you have two rows all the way around and you're just gonna keep spiraling. So you wanna do this until you have 12 rows. Meet me back. Okay, so I have my 12 rows done. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slip stitch into the next stitch. And that's just to bring our stitches all on the same level. Then I'm gonna chain four. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna skip one stitch do a double crochet to do a double crochet well let me just show you so we're going to chain one skip one double crochet yarn over into the stitch pull through yarn over through two loops yarn over through two loops chain one skip one double crochet do this all the way around and meet me back once you've gone all the way around, you're going to come to two stitches at the end, okay? That's okay. Don't worry. I want you to chain one, skip two stitches at the end, and I want you to slip stitch into the third chain of the chain four. Okay. Now we're going to chain up two. We're going to half double crochet into this space. Oops. Half double crochet into the stitch. Half double crochet into the space. Half double crochet into the stitch. Do that all the way around. And you're going to do a total of three rows, this counting as the first row, of half double crochet. And so you're if you want, you can join at each round into the second chain, or you can just spiral again. I'm going to spiral again. Okay. So then instead of slip stitching into the second chain, you would just do another stitch in that first stitch. Okay. So see, we have our little eyelets to weave our drawstrings through. Okay. So three rounds of half double crochet spiraling or not spiraling spiraling whichever you prefer meet me back okay so i did my three rows around so now i'm going to cut a bit of a tail and i'm going to slip stitch into the next stitch and then pull my tail through the loop i'm going to take this thread and my darning needle, it should be the only thread we have to hide, which I love because I hate hiding threads. So I'm just going to give it a couple of stitches through here. Just back and forth. Okay, cut that. Now you're going to want to make a chain of 60. We'll put that to the side. You're going to want a chain of 60 twice. So just a simple chain of 60, okay? Twice. Do two of them and meet me back. Once you have your 60, you're just going to cut your yarn, pull through that last loop, pull tight. Okay, and now make another one. So I've got two of those. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our bag, okay? Now you see here, this is where we started to do our spiral, right there. I don't know if you can see the difference in stitches, but I can. So we're gonna go up from there and we're just gonna start threading through our tie okay and just in and out here 
Here we go. And if you haven't had a chance, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Okay, so here we go. We're coming out here. Okay, now with your other one, you're going to go in here and do the same thing all the way around. You're going in the same holes as the other. No, nope. yep, but you're only going halfway. Okay, so here's my two pulls, so we're going one more. So I'm coming out here, I'm going out there. Okay, and then from the other way. <laughs> I'm getting confused. Okay, here we go. So we go in here. There we go. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is on one side, we're gonna take our two and we are gonna tie them in a knot. We want that knot to come to the end of those ties. Okay, and then pull tight. And then on the other side, same thing. We're gonna bring them together. We're gonna do a knot and bring that knot down to the end of those ties. Pull tight. Make sure you've pulled really tight. Okay. Now, we're going to leave a bit, maybe a half inch, see how much I have. Cut it so it's even. Again, on this side, make sure it's nice and tight. Pull on each cord to make sure you've pulled tight. And again, about half an inch. Cut, and there you go, guys. You have a dice bag. Isn't it awesome? I love it. So don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And um, in the description, I'm going to put a link to my crochet journal. It's something new that I've designed. I'm trying to promote it because, you know, we always got to promote our stuff. And yeah, there is our dice bag. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye now.